Hello, my scrapping friends. I'm Jeanette at Make Sweet Memories, and I'm here today to share a very simple border idea with you. I need to get a lot of pages done this summer, and I want to help you do the same. So let's use a fun tool and some of our scraps, and we can make some pretty stuff together. Okay, let's dig in. One of my most favorite tools is the tag punch here. This is the three in one beveled punch. And you can see that it will punch a tag that is one inch, two inch, or two and a half inches wide. I love this tool. Every single tag maker Creative Memories has produced, I have purchased. I just think everybody needs a tag maker. And here is my number one rule when it comes to gift giving. If it has a ribbon on it, I'll always put a tag so people know who it's from, but if it has a ribbon and a tag, it's a gift. It doesn't matter if it's wrapped. It doesn't matter if it's in a bag. If it has ribbon and a tag, it's a gift, right? Tags can be used all over the place and it's a speed tool. And that's why every single person needs one. And once you have used this, you're gonna wonder how you lived without it. My trimmer and my tagged punch are the two most used tools that I own. I use them for everything. Last Christmas, I was making tags out of my scraps. If I'm going to a party and I wanna take a gift, I have some bags here, I use up some scrap paper, tie a ribbon, there you go. I use it constantly. So what you do is you take your piece of scrap paper and I'm going to mark it here. I'm gonna cut it at the two and a half mark. And I'm gonna show you, all you do is slide it in here. You see it's called beveled because it has different layers here. According to the width of your paper, it will just slide in at that two and a half mark. And I just hold my finger down Give it a single punch and you have a perfect punch every time. So I want to show you a border idea that's so simple and fast, it's become a favorite of mine and I know it'll be a favorite of yours too. So what you want to do is find some scrap paper that's at least two and a half inches wide and take a look for three patterns that you really like that go together. So I'm gonna start with the Sun Rays for Days collection. I'm using the Sun Rays for Days and I have it here with the Feeling Bright. So mine's kind of all mixed in together. But one of the patterns that I love, love was this one from one of the Variety Map Pack. So I'm gonna use that. And I really like this stripe. And actually, I really like this one too. So, yeah, okay, I've got a little, I've got some little scraps here that look like they're going to fit. So that's what I'm gonna start with. And I'm gonna punch my tags and then some strips of paper that coordinate with that. So let me show you here. I like this sunshine paper. Oop, there we go, we barely made it. I'm gonna cut a tag with that, and I love little prints. I just think they're so adorable. Isn't that so cute? Everybody loves a gingham, right? And then this, I need a two and a half right here. I just need a little strip of that. Okay, aren't these fun together? I think those are really cute and happy. So the next thing you do is turn it on its side and make sure that this little rounded part is at the one and a half because we're just gonna trim that off. And even though it's a little bit, I love this, I'm definitely keeping these little scraps. So I'm just taking these patterns and trimming them off at the one and a half mark. Oh, 
Okay, got those done. Then what I'm gonna want to do is find some cardstock that works with these. So I'll probably do a light blue, a dark blue, and maybe something yellow, because they would all go together. Okay, these are the three that I think I'm going to use. A light blue, uh, the regular blue, and a little bit of the sunshine, I think would be kind of cute and happy. So you just kind of look at yours and see what you have scraps of and what you can do with them. So this is where we're gonna start. I think I'm gonna start with these two together. So this will be the widest strip that I need and I'm gonna cut a two inch strip. Now, if you want to, I could show you this, I guess. We could cut it with a different blade on the one edge. So let's try that. You could do this with straight or just um, a decorative blade if you choose. But it's such a fast little border. You're gonna really like it. All right, so we're gonna do that. And then let me remember to take my blade out and change it. Put your blade back in here. And now I'm gonna do a one inch of the blue. And I'm gonna do a one inch of this. And you can see it already has some stuff punched out of it. And that's okay. Uh, I think we could cover it. So I think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna try it. A one inch of this as well. Well, we'll see, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you just work around your scraps, right? So here we go, let me show you. This is my outside piece. So this is the piece that's gonna show on the border. This will be my middle piece. Let's see. Should that be my middle piece? Let me look. Oh, I can see that I cut from the wrong end and it's not quite long enough. So let me, okay, here we go. I had to go to a fresh piece of paper but this totally works if you have something punched out a little bit on your paper, as long as your strip is 12 inches, okay? So I'm gonna start with my middle. I think I'm gonna make, let's see. These are my little tabs, and I'm just gonna place them right here. You can see where the, um, where the edge right here meets the paper. I'm just gonna place them on the edge of the paper here. And that's kind of right where I lay it up. So this edge is straight, okay? Not the curved part, but the straight part. So I'm gonna start with my stripe. I think I'll put the stripe in the middle. And so what I do here is just flip it, flip it over. And I'm gonna line this up right at the very top. Okay, you see that? It's just lined up straight there. And then I'm gonna layer this over it so that I just have a skinny piece in between. So I'm gonna put this layered over at the top. Okay, so what I really like here is that these widths are going to be different, all right? So what I'm going to do now is take my red Darling Gingham and I'm going to It's gonna go right about there, but you can see that it 
takes on the other paper. So what I wanna do is take a scrap of a solid and put it behind that. And if you have this old Creative Memories punch, this is perfect for that, just using the teeniest one. Or you could literally just rip a scrap of paper and put it on top there. So now I'm just gonna punch with my little punch, but again, you could just rip this if it's better for you. Right there and punch a little, just a little corner of it, or like I said, you can literally just rip it if you want to. There we go. So now I have my three little dots and I wanna make them kind of contrast, right? So they kind of stand out. So I think I'm gonna put my solid cranberry here. When I do that, place it down. When you flip it over, see how it's filled in. So I wanna do that there. And then I'll put the light blue on this. Well, actually I should put it right on this, shouldn't I? and then put this down. Then it's not sticky, okay. And then for this one, I just need like some golden yellow. That's what I need, just kind of a goldy, I'm sure I have a scrap of that somewhere. That's... There we go, just a little goldy yellow. I'll do that. And then I'm gonna put that adhesive. It's easier if the adhesive is just kind of right here and then it sticks to it, okay? See how cute? Those are fun. Okay, so I'm gonna put this now. I'm gonna layer this down a little bit further. So let me just put my adhesive back on here. And again, I'm going to put it right at that edge, right the straight edge to the straight edge. Okay, so it's real easy. It just lines up like that. Then I'm going to attach this one here. And what I'm trying to do here is just have these be different widths. So I don't want this to be the same as that. I just like it when it's a little, there's a little variation there. So I'm going to put adhesive here, right? And then figure out where I want my last strip. About like that is good, oops. You can see it's not quite lined up at the top and I want it to be so it lines up at the bottom. Okay, see, isn't that cute? It's just cute and happy. And then I'm gonna slide this one in and just kind of put it about right there. Okay, so slip that in so that we're layered just however you want to be. Okay, isn't that a fun, simple, simple border? So cute, right? Just really easy very duplicatable, very duplicatable. You can use this with any theme. If you want to, you could cut that out right there, or you could add another layer here. If you have something that's already punched out, you know, I always have a few extra of these. If this was straight, you know, you could do that. But you know what? I just, I love it really simple. And I have all this room down here 
that I can layer a photograph. So what do you think, guys? Do you like it? Okay, I'm in love with this collection as well. I love this star paper. Let's see? Ooh, Mike could get that out of there. Let's try it with a... Oh, there's a scrap. I like those together. I think we probably need some of the straight cranberry as well. What else could we use with this? Maybe some of that. I really do like that one. Ooh, and I really do like that one. There's so many cute ones with this set, right? So let's start there. Let's see how we do. We could use the light blue and the uh, dark blue. The same blues would work and the same cranberry. So let's just get our tags made first. Okay, let's do the same thing with the stars and stripes. Let's put in our little tag. Perfect. This one, I don't know if it's going to fit. Oh, look at that. Barely. Let's see if we can make that straight. Yep, look how cute that is. I love chunky tags. Okay, and what about a strip of this? Let's do it on this side because it's already kind of cut out over there. These are all fun, right? I'm such a sucker for gingham. Love gingham. Okay, then let's just trim it at the one and a half. You can already see the cuteness coming, right? <laughs> it's fun! When you find papers that you love, it's just fun. The combinations are fun. Okay. So we've got these. And let's put, let's see, we need a little bit of this. And we need a little bit of this. Just take it from right there. A little bit of the blue, I think. Okay. So we've got those and let's put them together, which is which. You kind of just have to play and see what you like. I kind of like the contrast of that one. What if we did this and this? Yeah, I like those. Okay, let's just flip them over. Put of adhesive on the back because we kind of know where we're going now, right? Make sure I have the right ones. Okay. Cute. Really cute. I'm going to use the same colors for this, so... Let's do a red strip. Just gonna do a one inch red strip. And hmm, that one's not gonna work. It's just a little too close to the edge. I think this one can work though. Let's try this. See, even though it has this hole punch in it. I think we can make that work. So, you know what? Let's put it on this side to cut it. Okay? I think we can make that work. We'll just put that in the middle and make that maybe our middle piece. So, we need a long blue 
think I'll do blue on the outside of this too, and I'm just gonna keep it straight this time. But you can always add another layer if you want to. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and let's make this the center. See, so it's covered up. Uh, that's gonna work out just fine. So let's start with this one, and what will I put on this one? If I put this on this, there's good contrast. And maybe this on this, and this on this. Okay, kind of like that. So let's start with the middle one, because it's so easy. <laughs> and we're gonna go right at the top, right? So that's easy. So we're just gonna line it up right there. And we've got that. And then I'm just gonna put the adhesive on this side and line it up. This is nice because of the gingham. You could line it up right there at the top and it's helping you be straight, All right? Mine was a little too high. I tend to go too high. I don't know why. Okay. There. And then this one, again, we want it to be wider than the middle. Okay, so about like that. And I'm gonna take this and just put it about there. Where's my other one? Here we go. And this one, and slide it in. Oops, forgot that that wasn't attached. Okay, let's put it right here. And then it's going just to lay right on the red. There we go. And let's slip this one right You can put them really wherever you want. I'm going to make this one a little tighter and put it right there. Oh. Put it right there. This has adhesive on the back. That's what's great about repositionable, right? If you have some on the wrong side, you can just go ahead and take it off immediately. And the longer it's on there, the more it's gonna stick, right? But you can do it immediately if you choose to. That makes moving things around a little bit nicer. Okay. There we go. Cute, right? I got all excited here. I'm getting this done and now I notice, look, it's not on the right edge. You may have noticed that as I was doing it, but just keeping it real here, girls. Sometimes we do stuff like that and we don't notice it in the beginning. But I want to line up those edges, right? So that they're all the same. Ta-da, we did that. Okay, and another thing I wanted to share is a little tip from my good friend Lauren at Craft Some Joy. What if you have a piece of paper that is two and a half inches wide, but you can't keep your finger on it, like maybe it's just too short right here. This is a little tip that she shared with me. Take a little post-it and put it on the edge. And then when you slide it in, 
you still have something here that you can touch to kind of center in these little slots. So you can still punch it and it comes out perfectly. Ta-da! Okay, now your strip is done. Your border strip is there. Now what do you do? I would look in the Stars and Stripes and grab a block of color and put it down, lay down your pictures. You guys, you can be done so fast. A really cute idea is to just put like some four by fours on the side here. Maybe one of them's even a journaling box. But just put your four by fours, let's see, so you can see it along the side. And then maybe right here, you put a journaling box of some sort. If you look in the sun rays for days, there's some cute options here. Maybe we just put that down, right? And put a title on that or a photograph. That's a really cute one. And that works with these patterns. Or you could grab this one. That's from the sun rays for days. So they use the same blues in here. So you could look for some of these, okay, that will mix and match with you. Or even, I, you know how I feel about gingham, I adore that. I think that would be so cute. And then put a little picture, cut it slightly smaller than the 4x4 and put it there. But this is not, I have pictures here that are not from the 4th of July, but from a family reunion. And I might just trim those. Here's the water balloon. Toss here. Might just trim them four by four. Stick her up in the corner. See? Lots of ways to make this work on your page really fast. Okay, let's try one that's completely different. This is from the Botanical Burst. You can see, I really like these plaids. I think those are fun. Um, this I think is 12 inches. So I could make, let's see, is that 12? Yeah. I could make this be the main piece. And I like that, and I do like that. And I like this because it has pink and green. So that could be a cute tag, right? And that's a possibility. And this is a possibility. Oh, there's more green on that side. And there's some more pink there. Okay. Oh, and here's my solid. Okay, so I'm gonna take, take this away show you kind of what we would do here. Is this a full 12? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's make this our outside strip. And I'm just going to make it straight. Just straighten that out right there. And then, let's see. I like these, and they look almost two and a half. They might they are. There's a two and a half. Perfect. I often cut strips in two and a half. So what do you think? Maybe something lighter. Okay. Let's try these dots. I love dots. Maybe, maybe like that. Okay, let's see where we're going here. So let's cut it at the one and a half. And the one and a half. And one 
one and a half. Okay, and we're gonna put it on the green. I really like the green and pink together. I think that's fun. So I think we'll do those two. And then probably this there and this here, right? So I could use some light pink. I could use white. Um, I think I'm going to have scraps of pink, so probably go there. Okay, so I think I could do light pink with this one, and I, or I could do white, or I could do green. This is the flip side of this. What do y'all think here? Let's see. If I did this, and then I made this my skinny side here with the pink, then what does this look like with the white? I don't know. We'll just kind of have to play with that and see if I like the green or the white better. I'm just going to cut a one inch strip of both of them and then we'll take a look. Let's see. Let's see what we like. Okay, I know I'm going that I know I'm going with this for the first one. And oh I have that taffy too. Um and this is my middle, or should I make the white the middle? Hmm. I could do that, I guess. If I make the white the middle. Oh, I kind of do like that. And then this one. Hmm. And this one could be on green or pink. How does this look? Yeah, I kind of like the pink, I think. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go with this. And we'll start with this one. And just lay it up on top, remember? Right at the tippy top. Put that one. Oh yeah, I need to fill in my little guys. This one will definitely be here. So, let's put the adhesive there. This one is going to go here, right? We need some green. Maybe green underneath there. So that shows up. See how these just sort of take shape, right? As you go. Wait, I want this side. Right? Yeah. Okay. And I kind of like this underneath the way it's showing. And then I could do another pattern in here, just one of these that has some pink and some white, or I could do a plain white. You know what? I like plain white. Okay, I'm sure I have a white scrap right here. Let's use that.
So I do like the plain white. Oh, that's a pretty pink one on this side too. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then I need a little bit of this color. I just really like that there's some good contrast there. that there yeah so that's cute and this is gonna go here and that's gonna go on the pink right I'm liking these they're just clean and can see this is a leftover it's no problem you just flip it over use the other side right so I'm gonna put adhesive on this side and just line these up and make sure that they're not the same I don't want it the same as the middle one. You can see this one's just not quite as straight as I want it. This needs to be skinnier. There you go. Okay, this one's gonna go on the top. Kind of right there. Look how cute these are. These are fun. Okay. Stick this kind of underneath here. Just kind of make your way here wherever you want it. About there. Okay, look. Okay, look how cute these turned out. I think they're adorable. Just so easy, so fast. And they really come to life when you put a picture around them, right? Look at that. It's so cute. I would love it if you guys would post on my Facebook page some of the combinations that you come up with. It's just like your mama said, less is more, right? You can add extra layers here if you want to, if you want to put a laser border or something else there, but I think they're darling all on their own. So whatever you do this summer, picnics, barbecues, have fun with it and just make a couple of quick borders for yourself. If you could post your combinations on my Facebook page, I would love that. It's so inspiring for other people to see what you are doing. We can do simple borders and make fast pages. This fun formula works for any theme. Did you just have a graduate? Why not try out your school colors here? That would be fun. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when new videos are released. I am growing this channel, so I appreciate every single subscription. It does make a difference for me. Please feel free to share the video with friends who love simple ideas too. If you want more ideas this summer, please consider taking my Summer Days class. I have six color handouts and three videos that are included in the class to help you try out some simple formulas and borders yourself. It is a self-paced class. You work at your own speed and once you're registered, you're welcomed into the Facebook group and you can begin right away. I use the Sun Rays for Days, the Stars and Stripes, and Wanderlust collections and you can use those or any product that you have on hand. The fee is $20 and you can email me for more information. This is what I love about being online is 
It doesn't matter where you live, you can take the class from the comfort of your own home and work at your own pace. My Facebook page is called Jeanette Ballard's Creative Memories and Forever. You can see the newest products there and any promotions that happen. This is where you find out about all that good stuff. So check out my Facebook page every Friday afternoon to see if there is new product coming. Creative Memories releases new product every two weeks. It's always fun to take a peek at that so you can pace your orders to take advantage of the fun promotions Creative Memories offers you. I also offer monthly virtual workshops and you can see those on my Facebook page and register there too. If you don't already own a 3-in-1 bevel tag punch, you can click on the link in the description box to get your own. This tool really is a keeper. The more you use it, the more you love it. Thanks for joining me here, and until next time, go make some of your own sweet summer memories. Thanks for watching.